right after high school, I decided I didn't want to die going up a flight of stairs. What is up, everyone? Hope you're doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, and of course, staying awesome. In this video, we're going to go over five tips for sustainable weight loss. So without further ado, let's get into it. Number five, have a realistic goal. So for the most part, everyone should have a goal prior to starting any sort of journey, specifically in this case, a weight loss journey. Say if an individual wants to lose a hundred pounds their first year. Yeah, that's a good goal. Will it happen? Maybe if the person is super disciplined, a great realistic goal for a year is to lose 50 pounds. That's a good goal because as I said in my previous video, average individual can lose 52 pounds a year. You know, a pound a week, roughly a pound a week times 52 weeks in a year, 52 pounds. If an individual has a goal of, of losing 50 pounds a year, that's perfect. That's a great goal to have. In addition to the larger goal, which is 50 pounds a year, they should also set smaller goals for themselves. What I mean by this is have smaller goals throughout the year. So like an example would be to have smaller weight goals. So let's say if you have uh, the first quarters, the first four months of the year, you want to lose roughly 10 pounds. That would be perfect, you know, and maybe another goal would be, oh, I want to have a much uh, leaner physique. Overall, have the larger goal in mind and make it a realistic goal. Don't say I wanna lose 200 pounds within one year. That's not realistic whatsoever. Just setting yourself up to be discouraged and disappointed. Number four, you need to have the right mindset. Having the right mindset in anything is very important. In terms of sustainable weight loss and the longevity of it, you need to be able to understand that this is a long-term process and you need to have the mental fortitude for, that, for this long-term process. That's number one. And why this is so important is because it's gonna get hard at some points, you know, you might have to give up your favorite sweet snack or something, or you might have to not go out to dinner every night. You know, you, you're going to make some, excuse me, you're going to have to make some hard choices and you need to have the right mindset and say, this is my goal. This is how I'm going to get there. And I'm not wavering for anything, you know? have the goal in mind have the goal and the smaller goals in mind and that's what it means to have the right mindset that nothing will stand in your way until you reach that goal number three learn to cook for yourself as i've said in a previous video learning to cook is a great skill to have additionally when you learn to cook for yourself you don't rely on other people making your food. When you don't have to rely on other people to make your food or you don't have to go out to get food, you know exactly what's going into your meals. You are in charge of cooking your meals and you know what goes into your meals. You know exactly how much olive oil you use. You know exactly how much seasoning you use. You know exactly how much protein, how much carbs, and how much fat go into each of your meals. Learning to cook for yourself is a great tip for sustainable weight loss because once you master it and once you learn how to do it, you can make anything you want. You can make any, th any food you want and you'll know exactly what goes into it, whether it be healthy or bad. Number two, progress is progress, no matter how slow. 
So thinking back to the long-term goal, you want to lose 50 pounds in a year. Let's say if you lose one pound in a week for your first month. However, you start to plateau in your second month. However, in the mirror, you're looking better, you're looking stronger, you're looking leaner. So, I, I to me, that's still progress, you know? And who knows, since you've plateaued, maybe you need to change up your calories, maybe you need to work out more, whatever it might be, but still, you're making progress, and that's what matters, you know? Your goal might need to be pushed back a little bit, but you're going to get there. And it's just all about the mind. Like I said before, all about the mindset that it's, you have to be, no matter the setbacks, you're going to, you're going to make it because you've had that mental fortitude and you're willing to go the distance and you have the patience to get to your goal. Lastly, number one, you need to figure out your why. Me, this is the most important thing when it comes to when you're starting your a weight loss journey, because ultimately you're the one that's going to start. It's up. It's up to you to start, and and you know people can say, hey, you know you've gained. <laughs> People can tell you, hey, you've gained some weight. Maybe you should, you know, go on a diet or something. However, that's them. But are you actually going to go on a diet? Are you going to do something about it? Again, it's all on you. So figuring out your why and to why you want to become healthier, why you want to lose weight, etc. is the first step. For me... Why I went on this journey, why I, the reason why I started my weight loss journey is right after high school, right after high school, I decided I didn't want to die going up a flight of stairs. I didn't want to have a heart attack going up a flight of stairs. Like, I remember when I would go upstairs, I would, <laughs> I felt like I was going to pass out. I had... You know, my heart was beating 100 beats a minute or whatever. And I, w I was starting to sweat. Had a hard, to hard time breathing. And it wasn't a good time. Some people, they want to enjoy more time with their kids. They want to go on, on activities with their kids or something. They want to have more family time, more outdoor activities. Or they just want to go out and see the world. Whatever it might be. You, as the individual, need to figure out your why. Why are you starting? With those five tips for sustainable weight loss, that wraps up the video. I really hope all of you think about these tips. Share this video with anyone that you might know that maybe needs that little push to start on their journey. Or just in general, anyone who want, wants to... Anyone who needs maybe a little motivation, you know? Um... Let me know in the comments below what what you learned from this video. Maybe some tips that you've actually used on your journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos. And like always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much.